I'm going to talk about Medicare's open enrollment period, also called annual election period. So confusing, they don't even know what to call it. So I'm going to show you the things that you should do and things you shouldn't do and kind of what you need to consider during Medicare open enrollment. So stay tuned. Medicare on video. Medicare on video. Okay, let's talk about Medicare open enrollment period, also called annual election period. So again, kind of crazy that they don't even have a name for it that they can be specific with. It creates a lot of stress for people that are over 65 on Medicare trying to figure out what in the world they need to do during Medicare open enrollment period. So I'm Keith Armbrecht, I'm founder of Medicare on Video, and I help people across the country with their Medicare choices, and I can absolutely help you as well. So I'm gonna explain this and make it as simple as we possibly can so that you know what maybe you should do, what you shouldn't do, and kind of how to make sure that you don't mess it up, because this is a time of year that you could absolutely mess it up. So we want to make sure we understand what our choices are. So first of all, let's talk about the dates, and the dates are super important. They are hard dates. If you miss the date, that's the end of it. You don't have any choice. They're not going to give you a little leeway here or there. So open enrollment starts on October 15th. It runs through December 7th, and then whatever choice you made in that period of time becomes effective on January 1st. So you gotta make your choice between October 15th and December 7th, and then it becomes effective on January 1st. And one thing I can tell you right now, do it early. If you're gonna do something on December 6th, it's probably not gonna work out for the best. So make sure you do this early, and in the end of October, really is the best time to start everything, get it done, get it over with, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So what's going to happen during this period of time? Number one, you're gonna be inundated with information. Your mailbox is gonna be full. There's gonna be so much information, mostly from Medicare Advantage plans, telling you how great they are, and you should come to them, and they'll make it easy for you to make that choice. So just understand and slow down and, and don't necessarily believe everything that you read without doing some investigation into it so that you understand exactly what your choices are. Now this year, we also get the luxury of having an old quarterback on TV. It seems like on every show, here comes the old guy telling us how excited he is that he gets free rides to the doctor now. So. It seems kind of crazy to me that a quarterback would be excited about free rides to the doctor, but you're going to see commercials all over the place. And again, primarily Medicare Advantage plans that are trying to recruit you to come in to their plan. So let's start off with number one. What do we have now? So what did you choose when you came into Medicare? And when you came into Medicare, you pretty much had two choices. You either decided to stay on original Medicare, which is Medicare A, Medicare B. You probably got a supplement to cover what A and B does not. And you probably got a Medicare drug plan. Or you made the choice to go into a Medicare Advantage plan, which kind of takes you away from Medicare and gives you into the kind of area of an insurance carrier. So you have a network of doctors, a network of hospitals, so forth and so on. So I can promise you, a lot of people with a Medicare supplement think they have a Medicare Advantage plan. A lot of people with Medicare Advantage absolutely think they have a Medicare supplement plan. So make sure we understand exactly what we have right now. And the main difference between the two, original Medicare, again, has no network. You can go to any doctor, any hospital in the country without having any authorization. So Medicare Advantage generally has a network of doctors, a network of hospitals that you have to use that is local to your area. So that's one way to figure it out. The other way is look at your ID card, not your Medicare card, but your ID card. And it'll either say Medicare Advantage or it would likely say Plan F or Plan G or Plan N. That would be a Medicare supplement. So that's the first thing we got to figure out is what we have now so we know what we can do because this primarily open enrollment primarily deals with medicare advantage so let's see exactly what we can do and i'm gonna narrow this down in just a second but this is straight off of medicare.gov and certainly will clear everything up for everybody so what you can do what can i do during open enrollment well you can change from original medicare to a medicare advantage plan you could change from a medicare advantage plan back to original medicare you could switch from one Medicare Advantage plan to another Medicare Advantage plan. You can switch from a Medicare Advantage plan that doesn't offer drug coverage to an Advantage plan that does offer drug coverage. You can switch from an Advantage plan that offers drug coverage to one that doesn't offer drug coverage. 
You could join a Medicare prescription drug plan. You can switch from one drug plan to another drug plan, or you can drop your drug plan completely. So these are everything that you can do. There's only a few things that really happen during open enrollment for the majority of people. And let's talk about that now. So let's simplify what exactly happens during open enrollment. And again, we need to know, are we on an advantage plan? or are we on original Medicare with a Medicare supplement plan? So if you are on a Medicare Advantage plan, you can change from one Advantage plan to another Advantage plan. So why would you do that? Well, with Advantage plans, they can change during the year and you're locked in for an entire year once you choose a Medicare Advantage plan. So, but they can change primarily with doctors. Doctors come in, doctors go out. So if you have your doctors and they decide to leave the Medicare Advantage plan, you may very well want to look for a different Medicare Advantage plan. Whether they chose to go into other Medicare Advantage plans is a different story. So, but it, this is the time where if you're not happy in your Medicare Advantage plan, you can look to get into a different Medicare Advantage plan. If you are in an Advantage plan and you don't ever use it and there's really no issues, simply stay where you are. There's nothing that you need to do. You can also change from one Medicare drug plan to another Medicare drug plan. So why would you do that? Well, if you're on original Medicare, back to original Medicare with A and B and a supplement, you probably got a Medicare drug plan. And drug plans are specific to certain kinds of drugs. So if your prescriptions change during the year, you may do better with a different drug plan than the one that you have right now. So it's absolutely worth the time to compare so that you get the best value out of the drug plan for what your current prescriptions are. And again, you can change that each year. And so if things have changed for you or things might have changed in the drug plan as well, you absolutely might want to change into a different Medicare drug plan. We can help you with that and figure out if it makes sense to do that. Now, what happens, I find mostly, is people unhappy with Medicare Advantage want to come back to Original Medicare. And you can do that during the open enrollment period. Now, where there is somewhat of a caveat is if you come back, so if you want to leave your Medicare Advantage plan, come back to Original Medicare A and B, you can do that without any questions asked. You can also get a drug plan at that time without any questions asked. The issue is if you want to get a Medicare supplement plan, if you want to get a Medicare supplement plan, you do need to go through underwriting and be approved in order to do that. Once you're in Medicare, then you need to clear underwriting to be able to get a Medicare supplement plan. Now it's not complicated and it's mostly big stuff that would disqualify you. So heart, lung, COPD, cancer, Parkinson's, big stuff, just kind of like life insurance that may disqualify you from a Medicare supplement plan. But if you want to come back in, you're relatively healthy, it's really not a problem. It's just a little bit of a process. And I can tell you, a lot of people are doing it. So if you're going to do that, you want to do it early because there are going to be a lot of applications in underwriting. And underwriting can take two weeks or three weeks, maybe even longer, and it just a little bit of a process to get it done. So if you want to leave a Medicare Advantage plan, come back to Original Medicare and get a Medicare supplement, just do it as early as you possibly can. If you wait until December, it's going to be too late because you need to get approved for your Medicare supplement plan before you can make the decision to disenroll from your Medicare Advantage plan. And if you don't get approved by December 7th, then you can't make that decision to disenroll and you can't do it after December 7th uh, with the exception of another period that comes up after January 1st. But again, that's a whole different story. So now that we understand what we can do and what most people do, the, the typical reaction I get now is, what? <laughs> and, and that's perfectly understandable. It, it's crazy ridiculous on how confusing it is for most people. So obviously that's what I do and I help people across the country make the right Medicare choice. I can absolutely help you. And if you give me a call or visit my website, we'll get you information very quickly. We'll make sure that you understand whatever it is that you want to do and that we do it correctly. So make sure you just visit MedicareOnVideo.com. I've got just a tremendous amount of information there. I've got a complete video library that covers just about every topic of Medicare that helps you understand exactly what you're doing so that you don't feel silly trying to figure all this out. I also have guides and forms for just about anything that you need relating to Medicare. It makes it easy to get it all accomplished. So just take a few minutes, 
Visit MedicareOnVideo.com. I'm happy to help with any of this. I hope you found this video helpful. And hey, hey, here we are, Medicare Open Enrollment, one more time. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Medicare on video, Medicare on